Hey guys, how y'all doing today? It's Billy Ray, and um, hope you guys have a great day. I am. I have the day off today, and um, like the last couple days now, I've been um, sitting around and um, you know just waiting for the results of what was going on with the trial and um, finding the trial with Donald Trump and. Uh, up in New York, and I've been following this along with the other three other trials that, that President uh, Trump has, and um, and I, like a lot of people, believe that especially this case here is a lot of, a bunch of bunk. Really, um, there are. I mean, I've been watching the news. I've been watching from various sources. So that, uh, and you know, CNN, uh, MSNBC, um, they said this this case is a dog, and I don't know how. Well, we know how it happened. That um, the DA um, had to fix him for for Trump, and also well as the the the, the judge he just didn't like Trump, although. He's benefiting from Trump being in there. His daughter's benefiting. His wife's benefiting. Uh, he should have recused himself, but he didn't. Uh, so um, then um, they just went after him. And now some of the, the cases, um, um, they're saying that um, the Trump, his defense team had issues and wanted to, to talk, have some. Some, some people who wanted to be his uh, to, uh, to be witnesses and uh, the, the trial judge said no but everything that the defense wanted they got and uh, the defense everything they wanted uh, even a little bit they didn't get anything so it was kind of like tough luck Charlie so at the end of the day uh, it seemed like um, Trump was behind a rock in a hard place and he he didn't really have an option uh they said that the, 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 everything was stacked against him and it made it reminded me and i was listening to uh judge joe brown um on his podcast he said he said that it reminded him of what happened with black people back in the 50s the black men back in the, in the 50s where they were railroaded into uh, jail sentences because the the laws were caught against them, and he said he hadn't seen anything like this since the fifties, and uh, and I happen to agree with him. It seemed the system is just up against him. Nothing he can nothing he can do. It's always no, no, no. You can't do that. No, no, everything's is going to be going against him. So, uh, I have to say, yeah, it seemed like uh, uh, President Trump is is like a black person back in the 50s. And uh, he's not getting a fair deal. He's not getting a square deal. And I, and I believe that. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a Trump supporter. And I've been a Trump supporter since 2016. So, I've been in the game since 2015. Uh, I read his books, um, and I'm a fan. Um, so uh, I guess I'm a P1, but I am uh, disgusted by this um, court case. I'm disgusted by our judicial system. A, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, are saying, I'll "Get out of New York." I don't live in New York, thank God. Look, man. <laughs> but if I did, I'll definitely be moving somewhere else because New York is. Is, has lost his mind. New York is a great city. I've uh, been there several times. I have family in New York. My, 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 parent, my parents have been there before and my brother used to live there. Uh, but if you're doing any business in New York, it's time to get out. Um, my history, I used to be a, a guardian angel for the Baltimore City chapter when I was trained by um, by um, angels from Philadelphia and New York, uh, so my lineage is in New York also, and 
Uh, I don't like what's going on in New York, and especially with the with the law system. Uh, so I, I I just gotta say no, no, um, and. Um, Today, uh, I was watching TV, and I was, um, you know, was watching, and I seen this little clip here, I'm going to play it for you in a second, of President Joe Biden being asked about, um, about this, this trial, and he had, a, like, a little smirk on his face, uh, which, like, a, you know, like Lex Luthor, <laughs> criminal mind. And that got me to thinking that this dude is is actually a bad guy, and I'm going to be uh, wary of him. Um, and for me, I've been Joe Biden. His mental capacity is low. Uh, he's, he's he's he doesn't have it upstairs. No, he's. He's like Weekend of Bernie's. Have you ever seen the movie Weekend of Bernie's? Bernie is dead, but people are, are operating him like he's a puppet. Then also there are some allegations that uh, that uh, President Biden um, is in, has had some corrupt dealings with China. And I, I believe that too. Um, and there's one thing I just figured this out. is the, the only difference between um, President Biden and President um, Trump is because Trevor Trump was has been convicted, whereas President uh, Biden is too stupid <laughs> to be convicted. <laughs> so, uh, and that's the reason why it, they did because they brought charges. They would have brought, brought charges against him, but he was found too stupid. <laughs> he was too stupid. <laughs> too crazy uh, in order to, to be charged whereas Donald Trump he has all his faculties and they charged him so that tells you something right there so anyway I'm going to play this little clip for you guys right now Okay, hold tight guilty verdict Joe Biden doing a victory lap on the left's successful lawfare campaign. The president telling millions of Republicans that they have no right to call the trial rigged. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. Donald Trump was given every opportunity to defend himself. It was a state case, not a federal case, and it's reckless. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. The big guy then sporting a goofy grin as he ignored questions from reporters. Watch this. Mr. President, can you tell us, sir, Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? Do you think the conviction will have an impact on the campaign? We'd love to hear your thoughts, sir. Should he be on the ballot, sir? Before Biden's lecture on norms that the Democrats spoke, Donald Trump went off on the verdict for about 40 minutes and says he's ready to fight. If they can do this to me, they can do this to anyone. These are bad people. I'm the leading person for president, and I'm under a gag order by a man that can't put two sentences together. It was a rigged trial. We wanted a venue change where we could have a fair trial. We didn't get it. We wanted a judge change. We wanted a judge that wasn't conflicted. And obviously, he didn't do that. Crime is rampant in New York. Yesterday in McDonald's, you had a man hitting him up with with uh, machetes, a machete. Then Bragg is down watching a trial. This is bigger than Trump. This is bigger than me. This is bigger than my presidency. Trump saving some of his best lines for this sleepy one. Crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country. He's the dumbest president, most incompetent president, and he's the most dishonest president. He's a very big danger to our country. And the only way they think they can win this election is by doing exactly what they're doing right now, win it in the courts because they can't win it at the ballot box. 
So, as you can see, um, this whole thing is, is, has been uh, a, a lot of problems here. And I feel, I feel like President Trump is being railroaded in that little smirk that President Biden had that told me that he's up to some, he's up to no good. He's up to no good. I mean, I was thinking that little smile kind of remind me of the Joker. And I'm serious. If 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 he was in the same world with, with Donald Trump, time, well, Donald Trump would have probably smacked him in his face, <laughs> or maybe Tony Soprano. <laughs> Don't let me embarrass you. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah. I'm, but uh, I'm just, uh, I just don't like uh, President Biden, and I think he's done a p piss poor job. So um, I'm just gonna say that this is, um, I'm gonna support, continue to support President uh, Trump, and I hope a lot of people, a lot of other black people do, because uh, President Biden is a racist. He is, and he's gonna tell me if you're not black, <laughs> you gotta vote for me. That's what well, that was a racist, racist, racist comment, and um, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't support that. And Kamala Harris is not black; you know, she's Indian, and she lived in Canada for 12 years, and uh, she's not black. But uh, and there are all the allegations about her too. You know, she said that you know it's allegedly that. Uh, well, I see you used to be um, hanging around with a lot of stars, even uh, Montel Williams and things like that. And, and you know, uh, there's some allegations that you know when she was at Howard that she was she was like a doorknob. <laughs> you know, you know the story. <laughs> she was like a doorknob. Everybody got a turn. You know what that means. That's allegedly, allegedly. But um, yeah, that's what I heard from Justice from uh, Joe Brown. He's, he said that uh, um, not Kamala Harris, uh, uh, Escobar, or something like that. That's her her, her married name. But uh, you know, she was on the line. She used to be. A, well, she was a. Uh, in sorority, and she was a she was a doorknob. Like I said, everybody got a turn. So, and then she became a Hollywood, and then everybody got a turn again <laughs> until she got all the way to be vice president. And then when she's the vice president, she knows nothing. She's then she's definitely a doorknob because she's dumb as a doorknob. <laughs> First you become, first you are, then you become it. <laughs> you dumb as a door there. Door dog. Anyway. Alright guys, you, you guys take care. And uh, Billy Ray, uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Peace.